Hello, my name is Sarah Ogden. I am a Shining Lights teacher here at Clifford Baptist Church. And this is a video for our Shining Lights. And we sure do miss you guys. We'll be glad that when we can get back to our regular Sunday morning visits and learning about Jesus, and uh, we just really look forward to that time. Um, so this lesson is for July 12th and we hope you have picked up your activity packet that should be in the airlock of the church that is between the glass doors as you come in to the main sanctuary and um, so past couple weeks you have learned about how the people went back to jerusalem after being gone for about 70 years and then they started to rebuild the temple and then the neighbors weren't very happy about that, so they stopped that building of the temple. So today we're going to talk about a, name, uh, a man named Nehemiah. And, you know, sometimes we are happy, and sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're scared. And today we're going to talk about uh, Nehemiah. He was kind of sad about what was happening in Jerusalem, and so he asked God for help. And um, our story is going to come from the book of Nehemiah, which is in the Old Testament of your Bible. So I hope you have your Bible where you can open to the book of Nehemiah, chapters 1 and 2, and, and follow along with me in that, in that story. Today, our Bible verse comes from the book of Psalms. It is in uh, chapter 54, verse 2. That's Psalm 54, verse 2, and the verse is, God, hear my prayer and listen to my words. Psalm 54, 2, God, hear my prayer and listen to my words. Okay, so our story comes from Nehemiah chapters 1 and 2. And I've got a little picture here of Nehemiah. So Nehemiah worked for the king. One day, some men went to see Nehemiah. They told him that the city of Jerusalem was in trouble. The walls had been broken down and the gates were burned. The news made Nehemiah very sad. He cried for many days. Then Nehemiah prayed and he prayed all night and all day. And Nehemiah said, God, your people have not, have not, dis have not obeyed you. But you promised long ago that you would forgive us and you would be with us. Please, hear my prayer. Hear my prayer, God. Help me to be brave when I talk to the king about this situation. Nehemiah went to talk to the king. Nehemiah worked for the king. He had a very important job for the king, so he went to talk to him. Nehemiah looked sad, and he was a little, little afraid to tell the king he was sad. But he looked sad, and the king asked, Nehemiah, why are you sad? And Nehemiah was afraid to answer. But then he told the king how his city, Jerusalem, had been destroyed and the gates had been burned. And the king said, asked Nehemiah, Nehemiah, what do you want me to do? The king asked him. Before Nehemiah answered, because he was scared what the king might say, so before Nehemiah answered, he prayed to God again. Then Nehemiah said to the king, Please send me to Jerusalem so I may help my people rebuild the gates and the walls of the city. And the king listened to Nehemiah's plan, and then he sent Nehemiah to, the, to Jerusalem so that Nehemiah could begin work to rebuild the, the temple in Jerusalem. And Nehemiah knew that God had heard his prayers and God had helped him be strong and be brave when he talked to the king. So our, our Bible verse again, boys and girls, what was it? Psalm 54, verse 2. It says, God, hear my prayers and listen to my words. We want to I want to pray with you now. Boys and girls, if you will, bow your head and close your eyes, fold your hands, because when we talk to God, it's special, and we should, we should uh, treat it like that. Lord God, we thank you for our shining lights. Lord, we miss them so much, and I thank you that we um, 
we will get to see them again soon. And, and when you decide that it is time for them to come back, Lord, we hope that, we pray that you will let us as leaders know when that time is right, you will give us direction and guidance and um, so that we can keep our children safe and learn about you, Lord. We love you and we thank you for our children. We miss them. We ask that you would protect them and their families and everything they do everywhere they go, Lord, as they're going on vacations and traveling and whether they're staying at home and, and playing at the house, Lord, we pray that you would protect them and keep them safe. Bring them back to us, Lord, in, in your appointed time. Thank you for Nehemiah, and we, we pray that you would help us to remember to ask you for help that we need to do the things that you've asked us to do. Lord, thank you for our shining lights, and I ask for your protection on them. It's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, we do look forward to the time that you can come back to church, and we, we hope that you'll invite a friend when you come back and be with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.